This comic was made using an AI image generator. And the image generator used for this work is a very basic one and lets you generate unlimited number of images for free. In this video, I will show that anyone can make a stunning comic like this without even using paid AI image generators. And I will be guiding you step-by-step step on writing prompts, creating consistent characters, and making complex scenes. So make sure to hit that like button and enjoy the video. First type dream.ai in your search bar. This is the image generator we are using for our work. You can see it has very simple user interface. It has many art style to choose and also has image to image option. The reason I chose this site is because it lets you generate unlimited amount of images. I selected comic V3 style and typed a simple prompt. I'm going to make a comic scene about a zombie apocalypse. I clicked create button and waited for image to generate. Seems like it's good enough for our work. Now it's time to make our main character. This character must be consistent, meaning this character needs to be looking same on every panel. And this is the main challenge you are going to face when using AI image generators. But don't worry, I will teach you how to write a consistent character prompt. First type, whether your character is a man or a woman. Next, describe their hair color and style. Then describe the clothes and colors of the clothes they are wearing. Be more specific when you are describing clothes. Use this structure for your prompt. For example, I'm going to type woman, black short hair, wearing a yellow crop top t-shirt, black shorts. Also make sure to add 2D comic style to the end. This is to prevent generating 3D images. Sometimes it might generate images that are slightly different from what you described. Just keep generating until you start to get what you want. I also added the background as hotel room and sitting on bed as my character's action. Seems like it's giving me what I want. And the character looks consistent too. I'm going to save this one. Now, this is going to be my first panel. To create the page, I'm using the free site called Canva. I selected an appropriate design and imported the image I generated. Then I cropped and resized it. I used borders around the panel to make it look more attractive. This will help to make panels stand out when overlapped by another panel. Then I wanted to add an introduction to the comic. To do this, select square from elements, change its color to white, then add a border around it. By double clicking on it, you can add texts. I used a free comic font provided by Canva. For the second panel, I want my character to stand up and look stressed. So I removed the words sitting on the bed and added the word stressed. Then I clicked create. I liked the image it generated, but this one had blue shorts instead of black shorts. Anyway, I saved it because I can use the upper part for my panel. Then I wanted to add what she thinks. I used another text box, but now readers can't recognize the difference between the story description and the thought bubbles. Well, in this case, thought box. I didn't want to use thought bubbles instead of a box. So I changed the color of the description box. Then I wanted a panel where she hears a gunshot and gets scared. I just had to replace the word stressed with the word scared. From this image, I'm only going to need a small part. Now I need to represent the gunshot. In comics, it's represented by the word blom. Even though Canva had that template, they are for premium users only. So I made my own template by just typing and changing the font. And it looked perfect. Then I realized I have empty space. So I added another image and distributed the thought bubbles. Also, I changed the page color to black because it looked cool. And the first page was done. On the next panel, I wanted a scene where my character opens the room door and looks at the hallway. This was the hardest part I had to face. After wasting some time, I figured out how to get that scene. First, I generated a scene where she opens the door. To do that, I had to type backside view and everything on the consistent prompt. 
Location as inside the hotel room. Opening the door as the action. This prompt gave me an image where she's looking outside the hotel room door. It also generated me an image where she's holding the doorknob. Using both images, I managed to show the way my character opened the door. Then I wanted a panel where she's looking at the blood trails on hallway floor. This was hard to get from one image, so I combined two images for that. First, I generated an image of backside view of her. Then I used a site called remove.bg to remove that background. Then I placed it on a background image I generated separately. When adding text, I had to use my first comic bubble. Even though Canva had free comic bubble templates, they didn't look that good. So I used the comic bubble pack I made by myself. This is how you use it. Drag and drop any comic bubble you like. Then click Edit Photo. Go to Shadows, select Outline, and adjust the size according to your need. Make sure the blur amount is at zero. This pack contains 100 comic bubbles, and you can get this pack by being a member of my Patreon page. Also, I'm going to post all the comics I made, including the prompts, settings, and techniques I used. I will also be posting my guides and everything I can't post on YouTube. If you are willing to learn the techniques I use, then consider about being a member. And it's a good way to support my channel too. Anyway, I managed to create four comic pages under an hour using this simple AI image generator. Next time I will be using an advanced AI image generator to make a comic. Hope you learned something today. Please like and subscribe.